Uh, what's up, folks? Um, I was just thinking about back in my days in high school. Um, I remember in the 10th grade, I had started going to school in Louisiana, Hammond, Louisiana to be exact. And I was sitting in my science class, Coach Moore, never forget. And it was one of those classrooms, you know, the white guys sitting on one side, black guys, they're sitting on one side. And I'm, you know, sitting with black guys. Well, those three guys I was sitting with in particular. And uh, we're just chilling in class. This particular day, like I can say it was science class. Science was my thing. The teacher kept asking questions and nobody else raised their hand. I raised my hand, I knew the answer. And this went on throughout the period. So uh, finally, one of the guys, I'll say guy A, turned around to me and said, what's with you? And I'm like, what are you talking about? What is it with you and all this school stuff, this book stuff? I mean, it's not the real world. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? Oh, come on, man. The streets are out there. He gave me this big lecture about me being into the books and not into the streets. Later on, Guy B chimed in. Not as much as Guy A, but he did chime in. And there was Guy C, who said a few words, not much, but he was in agreement with Guy A. Well, I actually felt bad for a moment. Don't ask me why, but I felt bad. But then I thought about it, I'm like, why am I letting these guys trip me out? Now, mind you, that for the rest of that period, I didn't answer any, any more questions, but I just kind of kept to myself. And after then, day later, I was back to my usual self. That being said, um, Guy C is a guy that's always looking for a job. Last I heard, you know, he get a job, job here, he dropped out. He get a job here, it don't work out so well, then he got to find another job, blah, blah, blah. Guy B ended up being an alcoholic kind of early. And um, he died, died relatively young. Guy A, who did most of the talking, he's presently a drug addict, and as far as I know, he's homeless. He's not doing well at all. But yet, during that period, they were the cool guys. I wasn't so cool. I'm not saying I'm doing super well now, but I mean, my bills are paid, I'm working, and I, you know, I do what I like. But uh, at that time, they were the cool brothers. So it just makes me wonder how many other guys go through similar circumstances. And I know it happens all the time, where you're trying to do the right thing in school, where there's other people just basically telling you that you're wasting your time. Because basically the white man has everything under control and there's no way you're going to be able to supersede what the white man has out there for you. I mean, I've heard that story over and over, you know, coming up. And I don't know where I'm at now. I'm not where I want to be. But I like where I'm at. I mean... I have aspirations I'm still working towards, whereas the three guys in question, one of them, like I say, he's deceased now, but it was his lifestyle that basically took a toll on him, 
And like I say, if I see guy A now, he's probably going to be asking me for a quarter. But this is the guy that uh, really made a big deal of put me down for being a little more academic than he was. In fact, I remember in the same class we took a test. He was failing. I held my paper so that he could uh, he could see the answers. So um, I guess he would have passed, but I ended up finding out I failed the test. I asked Coach Moore, why did I fail? He said, I saw you giving the answers out to guy A, and you had a perfect paper. He was right. When I told guy A what happened, his attitude was, oh well, I was gonna fail the test anyway. So I learned my lesson. Certain people can't help in the academic sense. It has to be up to them. And we see where his, his thing led up. Now I'm not saying that all black guys should be trying to go to college. I mean, college is not for everybody. However, I mean, education is something we, we're going to need. And people like guy A, B, and C, the concept of delayed gratification, it's just not there. And why is that? What do you say about that?